can the best mechanic in LS do for you? 100% guaranteed. Dumb luck right there. Gotta watch out, fool! Woo! 
Too close. I don't only talk to the kids when I'm drunk. I don't think. It gets kind of fuzzy. You are really pathetic, Michael. Pathetic. Yep. Hey, Trace, what's up? What's up? Are you joking? You ruined my life! I did? I thought I'd already ruined your life. Remember after that boat thing? Take this seriously! Do you know how bad I wanted that? Fame or shame is like an amazing opportunity! You're such a fucking fuck, you really are! You'll get over it. You'll see, I did you a favor. Never! I hate you!
That car is smoking. Davy, how you doing? About as good as can be expected. But the news is not good. I don't know what you're talking about. I know you did that fucking jewelry job. Davy, seriously, you're imagining things. Fuck. What we got? Uh, John Doe, white male, overweight, in his late 40s, possible coronet. Let's take a peek. The fat deposits on his hips and abdomen suggest a fondness for bleeder burgers. We're probably about to find one in his gut, still in its wrapper. Right next to the bottle of scotch and pack of redwoods. Ah! Oh, Jesus! Ah! Back from the dead, ah! motherfucker! Ah! 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 This the way out? Let's go! Motherfucker! Ah! 
Should have stayed on the slab. We're on a government direction. <laughs> No one comes in or out. Hey, I already died once today. Facility. Trust me, I'm not interested in the truth. Requesting backup for a possible national security threat at Strawberry Corner's office. Suspect is a white male adult. IAA has authorized the use of lethal force. Thank you. 
Hey, Mike. F. Hey, we need to talk. Quick, meet me at those oil derricks just outside town, El Burro Heights. And make sure you're not tailed. Man, that don't sound too good, homie. Look, I'm on my way. Dave, the hell was that? You know how many spooks I just ran into? I'm sorry. They're not nice people if that's a consolation. What's going on? There's a big target out there. Something in the shadows. The data algorithms are reading off the charts. Whoever finds it, the Bureau or the agency, is gonna get a big bump in funding.
Franklin, what's going on? You gotta get out of town. Man, I ain't exactly got nowhere to go. Well, then take a trip. A long trip. What the fuck is going on? Things, all right? Take care of you, honey. Where are my glasses? Ugh, it should be fine. Thanks for stopping by. Do you know how you want it done? This is some of my best work yet, <laughs> I think. Anytime.
Titled piece of shit! Hey, Michael. David. Well, isn't this nice? You didn't tell me we were double. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Come on. The Bureau owns a lot out in East L.S. Covington supplies off El Rancho. Can you take us there? Yeah, sure. Sounds nice and secluded. Kind of place you'd run an off-the-books operation, huh? So what? So I bet Federal ain't on the deed. That's so. And we all like our Federal government open and transparent. Except when closed and opaque suits you better. Hey, I'm just a puppet. You're the one pulling the strings. Yeah, I remember. I think he's fucking crazy, and you should dump his lazy ass. Be Tell me, Davy, you expense this ride to the taxpayer? I need you to make a couple of calls. Get some people on board. First guy is Franklin Clinton. Hey, I barely know that kid. He's fixing up my car. Call him, or we'll send some G-men to his aunt's house. Okay. Okay. Michael, this ain't the best time. I'm kind of busy. Hey, sorry about that. Listen, you know that thing we talked about before? It's happening. I need you to come to a lot off El Rancho, not far from where we met before. All right, that's cool. I'm in LS anyway. No more car accidents. Now, Trevor Phillips. Oh, you're crazy. I ain't calling him. I thought you might say that, so we had him picked up. That's a dumb move, Dave. Real fucking dumb. Just worry about the plan, okay? Getting Mr. K out of the IAA station. Clinton is going to be positioned across the street, keeping an eye on the proceedings. Phillips flies you in, you rappel down, make the extraction. And I'm the best guy you got for this. With you, we've got good leverage. Great. And you brought Trevor in. We're telling him I'm all cozy with the F5B. You'll need discreet support. We'll maintain control of the situation. We'll maintain control of the situation. You know what? You better keep a low profile. Yeah, I think I will. See you later. Who's that cagey motherfucker, huh? No, it's another cagey motherfucker, all right? Not you! Hey, T, enough with the faux political bullshit. Franklin, come on, you better take off. Really. Shit, I'm good. I ain't bailed. Whoa. What, well, am I detecting some, uh, some sort of, uh, son I never had bullshit here, Mikey, huh? Hey, listen, if you want to replace some father figure... We need to go to the agency headquarters downtown. Your new friends are a riot. No wonder you said sayonara to the old crew. Walking away ain't easy, Trev. Sometimes I guess you gotta make compromises. What happened?
to dying with a gun in your hand. Life happened. Annoying wife, two kids. Remember them? You get tied down, you can't move anymore. What about your ties to me? To Brad? Those ties are why you got roped in on this FIB instigated suicide pact. For as long as it keeps me amused, I am. I ain't exactly sure it's gonna be amusing. We'll see. You know, you had me at suicide pact. I'm going in on the west side of the tower. Get us in position. I'll drop. I'll have this thing so far up your ass, your tonsils will be playing shadow puppets. You think we can't do that? We can. It's in our guidelines. I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't stop. Cinema equipment, not surveillance. Grab his other arm. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. You think you're impenetrable? See how you feel with this is 18 inches deep inside. Get the lube. Actually, who the fuck is this? Terminate him. Close this problem right now. Yeah, I can use a little backup here. Get me the station, Chief. 36 flow. I got you. Oh, 
why are you doing this to me? Hey, hold tight. I got some friends with the Bureau. They'll explain everything. You saved me. Thank you. Thank you. Don't mention it. Hey, King, bring her down in the lot. What is wrong with you, smoke? I don't know about this. Now, in through the bloated nose, and out through those wrinkled lips. Out through the mouth. Wow, Michael. I never thought I'd see the day. In and out with the breast, Michael. Isn't that far better than booze and nicotine? In the nose, out the mouth. Okay, Doc? Let it out. It moves! Amazing! This is gonna have to do. Now we will do something more complicated. Sometimes, when I do this pose, I weep uncontrollably for hours. 
I feel like I'm channeling bullshit right now. What the hell am I doing? Perhaps the glue factory for this one? You have picked yourself up, and you will try again. Now, you breathe. Let it out, baby. There. There it is. You can breathe, can't you? Erect. Turn it. Hold it. Stroke it. The silly man forgets to breathe. Out with the breath. Tight! Tighter! Breathe, Mikkel. Keep this up and we might actually have a shared interest. Yeah, I'm about to feel some emotions, all right. Remember, children. Do not fear the unknown. We... Your core is very weak, Mikkel. Take in the air and release it. If you'd found yoga before, you wouldn't have been that way with Coach. Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? Let it go. This is what I was talking about. Can't you see how blocked he is? Your lungs, they work, yes? <sighs> Your aura is just like, wow. Exhale. We might be about to witness the first yoga-induced heart attack. Breathe, please, Michael. There! Take in the air and release it. Out through those wrinkled lips. Not bad. Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? For a meat eater, it's okay. <sighs> you have come a long way today, Mikael. Huh? Yes, later you will cry. Jimmy! You still here? James! Leave me alone! Oh yeah, fuck you! You know what? If there was a rape... Nice TV. Did I pay for that? Yeah, you smashed the other one, didn't you? Bullshit. Threatening to molest your online buddies is bullshit. They're not my buddies. They're the only people you speak to. So where's your friend? Burger shot. Yeah, nice to see the kids are still hanging out at the burger joints. Me and the guys, we'd go down to the diner after class every day. We'd get milkshakes, fries. Ew, please. You know, you're really creeping me out. Wow, wow, you're really creeping me out. I'm trying to relate to you. No, you're trying to take me on some nostalgia trip. You're such a cliche. Oh, says the dope-smoking, game-playing, live-at-home world owes him a living millennial. I knew it. I knew it! The mask was gonna slip! The monster's been exposed! The hell are you talking about? The real you! That bitter, vindictive old man! You pretend you're being a father, but you hate me, don't you? I don't hate you, Jim! How many times... I love you! Look, I'm sorry if I don't express that correctly, but... Why do you think we're here together? Because you're scared shitless of being alone? You really have to meet my friend? Yeah, I really do. There he is, the friendly neighborhood drug dealer. <coughs> Yo, oh, brother man, what's, what's up? up? What's up, man? Good to see you. What are you trying to... All righty then. Now what? Can we just get back to the house, please? So, uh, want a drink? I'm driving. Because normally you're such a between the white lines, friend to the pedestrian kind of guy. Fine. Give it here. Oh, 
Okay, your turn. Maybe when we get home. Ah, who's the square now? <laughs> I'm starting to feel a little woozy. You're fine. No. Really? This is not normal. Chill out. You're just paranoid. This is not paranoia. This is totally justified concern. <laughs> you should see yourself. Whoa. Serious. Whoa. I gotta pull over. Oh, who was in there? It's harmless. Vets have been using it for decades. Oh, you anesthetize me? You fucking Protecting shit. Protecting you from yourself. Also, I took money from your bank account and I'm moving out. Oh, all right. You're too crazy, Dad. Come on. Jimmy! Jimmy, you little shit. Oh, hello there. How are you doing today? I was hoping we could continue the conversation we had the other day about my proposal. Michael.
you step foot in this yard. Why? It's half my house. Now, I'm gonna call the police. So Where's this thing happening? Down Grove Street. We shooting shit up, spraying some motherfuckers. I can drive by with the best of them. Behave yourself, man. Lamar, what's happening? What you in stress set up? What you in stress set up? We buying weight, homie. Something that'll move us up the food chain, nigga, for real. Not this real in this town, nigga. Particularly where you in stress concerned. Man, this... Investment opportunity. You got to speculate to accumulate. Ooh, first rule of business. Hey, since we're out here banging, either you got some dust. Fool, want to get butt naked? <laughs> I'll get whatever it takes me, homeboy. This the homie house right here. Hey, look, everybody, be cool, man. Lamar about to do his thing. All right. Point this fool janky. Courier service. Packets to collect. You got the grip? President accounted for. <laughs> you like that, huh? Sample? <laughs> now we talking. <laughs> 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 My throat getting numb already. So we good, nigga, right? Well, let's go. How about a taste? No, man, we leaving. I want a taste of the other side of the brick. Now, you heard what your boy said. You're leaving. Hey, give me the... Give me the... Back. Whoa. What the fuck? Did we ask for a key or a fucking ounce? Man, that's motherfucking drywall. Hey, we got some motherfucking buyer's remorse out here. Clear. Clear. Wait right there, dog. 
dog, hold up, hold up. He, he. Get Jack they ass, homie. That's our way up out of here. These are right. Put your fucking hands up. And it's cold. You clap the clip, man. This way. Damn, this stink in this motherfucker. Shit ain't no river, man. It's a motherfucking sewer. Then we're in the right place. Look at that one. Leadership, nigga. living in some suburbs somewhere driving SUVs and shit, you know, soccer moms and shit, coaching little league football all team. Yeah, the suburban oh, flight, huh? Probably so. That's gonna be me and you one day, dawg. If we lucky, man, shit, at the moment, it looks like we gonna end up the other direction. Man, crazy dude's all right. I thought y'all get along. Maybe y'all too much alike, though. Me and him? Oh, hell no, nah, man. You think? Hell yeah, I think. Hey, I 
Just drop me here, dawg. Hey, good looking, homie. I'll catch you later. All right, shit. Holler that stretch, homie, and find out what happened. You don't... They don't make them like they used to. Tracy, baby, you called? Yeah, look, Dad, we're worried. I'm worried, too. I really want to see you. Well, I don't want to see you. You need help, like serious, serious help. And if you don't get it, you're going to be killed. Tracy, I love you. But you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I tried, Daddy. That's all I could do. Santa. That's not the name in your file, Michael. Steve Haynes here. Yeah, Agent Douche. Take your time. Taking a dump? Ah, why do you care, huh? The guy's your neighbor. Caesar's place, Rockford Hills. Yeah, the more I see of your boss, the more I like him. I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is he gonna be a problem? Is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. 
If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. And that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh, well, boo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo -hoo -hoo for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearthed this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were working with us before the cash depot jet. No more car accidents. Okay. Before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush. One of them spent 10 years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary. Or, or, we stumbled on the cash depot job. Brad went down, you went down. Trevor got away. The FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, Trevor made you right away. The second he saw you. You remember after the bust, I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. This is bullshit. This place. Turns out. You gotta be a sick fuck to want to be a dentist. Not the pliers. My teeth are perfect. No, 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 no. Best way to make a man talk is to stop him being able to talk. That hurts too much. <laughs> Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tahir Javan. What didn't you ask me? Shumash. Her does not take coffee breaks. So how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. You know, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of him. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest, and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job. No casualties. There are more eyes. Don't hit any more cars. More eyes on that town than there need to be. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad. Who he thinks is locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Townley. The trainees write them. It's a good exercise. Yeah, the fuck. How'd that get started? A few years ago, a letter came to the federal prison system addressed to Brad. The nation demands it. Come on! I need them to speak! Don't think anymore! Don't it! I ran out of tea! They were perfect! No! Oh, 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 oh,
steak anytime soon. Uh, hey, 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 hey. Now. You're my eyes, Townley. What do you see? I see a couple guys that are way too old and too fat to be doing a political assassination. We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. Well, half this town looks Eastern, Davey. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. <sighs> that ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, sure, shit. Sure. Uh, let me think. I remember. <laughs> The buzzer went! Oh, go at him! Come on! Oh, 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 oh! Nutcracker! So what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, no, no. We're back in. Give me some eyes. Who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific, or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men, and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Ah, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. It's gonna be a long day until you give us some intel on us. They'll be doing this shit at elementary schools in no time. Oh, what's wrong? No! I got blood in my mouth! My mouth! I, I was... <laughs> Look at me. I am a genuine government man. I know it's legal, but he can still drown. Help me pick this up. No, oh, he looks so peaceful sleeping there. I don't want to wake him. Here goes. I'm still here. Mr. K. Steve's telling me he chain smokes redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left-handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. I'm telling you to assassinate a guy because he's a threat to national security. The rest's details. Michael, what the fuck is wrong with you? What, I had my eyes on a target. Listen, anyone in that joint's got as much chance of being a threat to national security as the next guy. Steve, it's blown. I'm telling you to assassinate a guy because he's a threat to national security. The rest's details.
don't even have an ID. Why are you shooting before we have an ID? You just cost us the mission. I'm telling you to assassinate a guy because he's a threat to national security. The rest's details. Ah, what the hell? That was the guy. I had a feeling. It'll check out. Well, we've... got him. It's done. Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work to the pair of you. Hey, how's your mouth? It hurts. Can you speak? Kinda. Are you gonna hold it together? I want to go home. I want to see my family. No, 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 no. You have no home. You have no family. That shit is over. I do. They're in the morning wood. I love them very much. No, that's your old life. That's over now. You're off the grid. You're one of the invisible people. Just take me home. I'm taking you to the airport. You're going to get on a plane. You're flying a long way from this country, and you're going to spread your message. I don't have a message! You're a torture advocate! Advocate? The media and the government would have us believe that torture is some necessary thing. We need it to get information, to assert ourselves. Did we get any information out of you? I would have told you everything! Exactly! 
torturers or the torturer or the guy giving the order to the torturer you torture for the good times we should all admit that it's useless as a means of getting information <laughs> sometimes you torture for the torturee but only if they're prepared to pay i am very unwell departures no one drives me to the airport Me. Uh. Run. You're free. Oh, what? But my family is here. Your family is probably. I don't even see you. You don't see me, okay?